Hey there everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get this beautiful holiday makeup look using Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. If you'd like to see how you can recreate this look, then let's get started. We're going to start by applying primer to the face. I'm using Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the base mattifying uh, primer. It's really good. I really like it. Especially for when you need to have your makeup on for hours and if, you're, if you tend to get a little oily in your T-zone area, this is perfect for that. Now I'm going to apply my Makeup Forever HD foundation using a beauty blender. I like to apply it by pumping some onto the back of my hand and then picking it up with my beauty blender. Now I'm going to use my concealer by NARS to cover up my dark circles and any redness that might come through. I'm going to take a break from my face and move on to my eyes. I'm going to pick up the Self Made Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And these are the gorgeous shadows that I'll be using today. I'm going to start by picking up Buttery and applying it to my brow bone. Now I'm going to add Sherbert to my crease. Now this is a holiday look and my inspiration is beautiful rosé champagne, so I'm keeping it pink and sparkly and light. I'm going to add treasure to the inner corners of my lid. Now that is beautiful brightness right there. Now I'm going to take Sigma's E55 shading brush and applying pink champagne all over my lid. It was actually this shadow that sold this palette to me. I just wanted this shadow so bad and thought, totally worth it to get this entire palette just for this shadow. Of course, all the shadows in this palette are beautiful, but this one's my favorite. I'm gonna smoke it up a bit by taking Sigma's small tapered blending brush, the E45, and applying hot chocolate to the outer corners of my eyes in these strokes. I'm gonna really try and concentrate that shadow right at the outer corner. I'm going to take a pencil brush and apply hot chocolate across my lower lash line. If you need to clean up any of the fallout, just apply a little more of that concealer onto the back of your hand and pick up a beauty blender to clean up. I'm going to use Circa Beauty's Fade to Black Liquid Liner to line my lashes.
line them like you normally would. I always do a wing liner and I actually think wing liners are perfect for the holiday season. So go ahead and try it out if you feel comfortable. I'm going to use a black eyeliner by Makeup Forever to line my waterline. I'm going to curl my lashes. Now I'm going to apply Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara. And you can also apply it to your lower lash line. I'm going to use a brow whiz to fill in my brows. Now we're going to move back to the face to finish this look off. I'm going to apply a matte bronzer by NYX in the shade medium and I'm going to use the 168 brush by MAC to apply it. I'm going to apply it to the hollows of my cheek, along my jawline, and across my forehead. Also at the temples. Using my Makeup Forever 158 dual ended brush, I'm going to apply my blush and that is going to be Laura Geller's Blush and Brighten Tropical Hues. This is one of my favorite blushes ever and it's absolutely beautiful. Of course I'm going to use this for my holiday look. And there you go, that is that beautiful color that this blush gives. It's absolutely, like, might be my favorite blush ever. It's so beautiful. Did I mention that my inspiration behind this look is champagne and rosé and bubbles and sparkly pretty things? Well, you guessed it. For my highlighter, I'm going to be using Becca's Champagne Pop. I'm going to apply my highlighter using Sigma's F41 Fan Brush, and it's in the copper tone, which is also really looks like rose gold so I'm giving you lots of gold lots of shimmery rosé champagne in this look I know but I think it's perfect for the holidays I'm also gonna apply it down my nose at my chin Cupid's bow and a little bit on my forehead Last but not least, the lips. I'm going to be using a new liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is called Candy Apple. It's a beautiful red and has lots of shimmer in it. Totally on point with the rest of this look. So let's go ahead and apply it. And here is my final holiday look using Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. I think it's gorgeous and I hope that you try it. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned.